Hi sport fans, we are in Fraserburg um, in the Karoo. Um, it's a one horse town, uh, but since the horse died, they're now sharing one uh, with the neighboring town. But we are not here to talk about those horses, different horses. We are on a bike trip. Um, and we were given a Honda. This is the 1100 uh, Honda, the one that's like fully automatic. I know in your mind it doesn't make sense at all, but we're supposed to test this over the next couple of days. And then we also have the Haskevarna Norden. Quite a nice little bike. It's in the what do we, light adventure bike um, category. Um, and they are new in the market, so thank you very much for uh, the KTM group for giving us one of these to test. But then we also have a Ducati. We're not testing this, the cameraman's bike. So we're not testing this with, you know, JJ's just riding this bike. And then also uh, the old KTM, I think this is like one of the bikes that started this whole category of adventure bikes. And we are on our way to the Tankwa bike burn. Right now we have no idea what the Tankwa bike burn is, that's why we're going there to figure it out. And just to give you some background, it took us two days to get here from Johannesburg. It's uh, quite a distance, so we've been doing some dirt roads up until this point. In this part of the world, the dirt roads never stop. You can explore for days. It can also be windy. We arrive at the tented camp, about a hundred kilometers from everything. The party has already started. Shelter from the wind. So one of the typical things that's happening at this event is um, this Norden seems to be uh, kind of popular. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a whole group here, we'll show you now. And, uh, and all of them want to know a little bit. Namakwaland, they're all from Namakwaland. They want, want to know about this, this bike and of course also uh, the Honda. I think the thing that, that, um, that people don't expect, it, it's a completely automatic bike. Um, could say, um, this is actually very interesting to me. And I was actually wondering, do you think this is quite an improvement on the historic help my trap? Not funny. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, I like the Africa Twin. That's the better version. Um, I think the automatic is going to be quite interesting to ride. Let's talk about the Honda. I'm convinced that Honda employs wizards in their design department. Only sorcery can be responsible to create a bike that makes no sense, but does everything so effortlessly. It's automatic, it has a soft suspension, it's heavy, but it takes everything in its stride. Open road, sand, loose rocks, no issues. This might just be the best all-round bike ever built. If you test right, you will buy it. Be warned. It is, after all, a bike burn, and the fire gets lit Saturday night. Yeah, you can see it. Don't shoot them, bro. Take us a photo bomb, no matter what. Sunday, we pack and make our way home. Okay, so we're packing up. Um, it's the big trek home. Uh, we're going to try and do it in two days because it is like 1,200 kilometers. So now all of this must go into and onto this. Um, the first thing um, I'll say about the Norden 
is if you thought that uh, she's a pack donkey exactly she is a pack donkey uh, big spaces uh, big panniers big seat on the back so obviously this um, this bike is more suited uh, to traveling long distances and things but man when you take it into the sand like we did yesterday it's a completely different uh, beast um, and also when you open the throttle with a little bit of drag races it's it's incredible I think if you um, if you want to buy one bike and it's the bike that you can take your wife on the back you can pack her like a donkey not the wife the bike um, and you can just hit the road and go for days uh, then this is the bike if you're looking for a bike where you can go on your own with your mates into the little bit of rough stuff green orange roots this is the bike for you it's a it's it's a perfect all-rounder and it's a it's a damn good bike um, I'll, I'd buy one if I had the money but I don't